trading capital. The bottom line is more is better. It allows us better position sizing. It allows us to have more positions. Remember, trading's very much aligned to the 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of your profits are going to come from 20% of your trades most of the time. But the big thing to me is more capital allows you to lower the drag from commissions. Here is a chart. This is the power setups, the ASX power setups equity curve. Uh, this is about three weeks old now. What I've done is I've put forward four different account sizes and put in the brokerage. So you can see that the $5,000 account is by far suffering dramatic drag. The only difference between the ending account balances in this chart is the commission. That is it. Now, I know some of you have small account balances. We will, I will give you practical instruction on what to do about that at the end or in the second session. But that's a graphical representation on the impact of commissions. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Impact of commissions, there it is in percentage terms. Again, this is just taking the ASX power setups and looking at the impact of commissions. So you can see a $50,000 account pays $4,871 worth of commissions. Yet a $5,000 account, well, it pays about half that amount of commissions, but that half amount represents 50% of its starting balance you're going to really struggle to get ahead of the game if you're paying a lot of commissions or if your account balance is too small. Well, the commissions I've used here, that's your stock standard CFD provider. So that's 10 basis points, minimum $10.